the bluegill spider. Start by mashing the barb on a must add 3366 size 6 hook. Go ahead and start that hook in the vise, making sure it's secure. Then go ahead and load a bobbin with 6 sot uni in black. Take wraps right behind the eye, wrap back a little before cutting the tag and thread off, create a nice base. Go a little ways down the bend of the hook and then go back up. Go to your foam and measure out a section of a width of about a centimeter. Cut that section down horizontally to the rest of the foam. This length will give you about, about two flies. Then go ahead, on one end, cut at a 15 degree angle on both sides to make about an arrow or a point. And now with that point facing the eye, go ahead and tie it down, securing it to the top of the hook, and then wrap down the bend with it. When you fold this section of foam over, you should see no bare thread left on the bend of the hook. Then go ahead and go to some eye stub here in UV black. Pick out a section about two inches in length with your thumb and forefinger. Then go ahead, release some thread and make a nice dub noodle. When you spin it, creating both two tapered ends, you'll create about a two to three inch dubby noodle. Then go ahead, starting at the back of the hook, wrap up to where you're just about a third of the hook shank behind the eye. Then go ahead and fold the foam over that little dubbed body and wrap it down right in front of the dubbing. Then in order to create a sleek profile, go ahead and stretch the foam over to the eye and tie it down right behind the eye. Then go ahead and compress this foam with thread wraps, creating a nice little section right in front of the shell and dub. Then go ahead and go to your midge flash here, light blue dun slash pearl. Get about four fibers and cut them free from the zip tie. Fold them in half and in order to keep them organized with the tips aligned, I like to hold these with plunger style hackle pliers. That way I won't lose them on my table. Then go ahead and grab the flash again and fold that section around your thread and bring it up on top of the fly and wrap back compressing it to the shell of the beetle. Then go ahead and cut it to a length just extending past the bend of the hook. Leave your thread right behind the extending foam. Now grab a pinch of dubbing about half the amount that you did before and create yet another dubbing noodle. It should be about a one to two inch dubbing noodle this time. And then go ahead and push it right up against the fly. Then go ahead and wrap back towards the flash and the shell, leaving your hook right in that little indent slash valley. Then go ahead and foam, fold the extending foam over and tie it down, creating a nice little head. Then go ahead and cut the excess foam off, leaving a little stub, and round off the corners. That's just for show. Take a couple more thread wraps to secure it. Then go ahead, go to some rubber legs here, round, medium, white. Measure a three inch section off and cut that off. This will create numerous flies. With a needle or the point of your whip finish, go ahead and indent a little bit and pull off a rubber leg. You will need two of these. Make a little indent, separate it from the bunch, and then pull it off. Then with one rubber leg, fold it in half, and with the loop facing to my left, your right, go ahead and fold it over the foam, and t fold it over the thread, and tie it on the near side. The loop should be sticking out past the hook eye. Then go ahead and do the same to the near side. You should be folding these at about the halfway point of the bent rubber legs. And then grab the back and fold them and cut them just to the length of the rubber legs. And then go ahead and cut the loop. The front leg should be about two thirds of the back legs, but the bluegill don't really care. Leave them longer if you'd like. Then go ahead and whip finish your thread. Now these bluegill can sometimes get toothy and rip a lot of the flies apart. So I like to add an ample amount of Sally Hansen's to the head, creating a nice little shiny head, and to the bottom, covering all the thread wraps and eye stub. This will also help the fly ride a lot higher in the water, as it kind of seals it, keeping the water out. And that's it. Once you get the hang of this fly, you should be able to uh, crank out a whole bunch. 
usually takes me about one to two minutes for each fly. 